Hello everyone. So my name is Owen Fox. Thank you for joining me. And I'm a little bit tired now, a little bit relaxed. But in this video, I want to share with you how crazy this year has been for me. This year, I'm, I'm, I want to share has been the maddest, craziest, wildest year of my life. <laughs> I've had the biggest in the in my conscious life since I've been twenty four. The last eleven years has been the craziest year. It's been so many changes have happened fast. So many. I've had losses. I've had gains. I've gotten married. I've tried to get divorced. Uh, I've had a baby, um, beautiful baby girl, so sweet. I've had, it's been incredibly exciting and challenging and surprising and shocking and painful and hurtful and sad and healing year of my life, my conscious life, especially. It's been a very expensive, I've, it's the year I've had the most stress in the last 11 years. Uh, it's the only year in the last 11 years where I felt anything like depression. I've had two days worth of feeling depressed, which was came in around the time of my baby due being born. Because it was a very, very, very challenging situation at that, state, at that time. Uh, I've had so many plans change and ch plans fall apart only to make new plans. I've gone by the seat of my pants. I've had so much uncertainty and not knowing. I've had so much prayer. I've prayed more this year in in the last eleven years of my conscious life. Um, I've had to trust, pray, and believe and have faith. It's been a very difficult year, but it's been a rich, crazy year. It's been wild. I've had. I've had deep experiences. I've made the most friends of my life, the best friends, really conscious, deep friendships and connections. This year, I've had the capacity to love more than I've ever been able to love before, which is the one of the deepest. <laughs> to feel the love is a rich, deep thing in your life, you know, to feel the love. So many of us have so much blockages and baggage and traumatizing wounds from the past that we haven't healed or even acknowledged that we just can't feel love, everyone. We can't receive the love. I have had the fortune and the blessing of 10 years worth of healing accumulating and f finalizing in this year. I had two and a half months of pain released from my childhood, as well as my certain degree of attachment and broken hopes and plans and dreams with my ex-girlfriend too, the mother of, my, of our baby. But it was mostly two and a half months worth of childhood trauma stirred up. It's like a huge thorn pulled out of my foot and it was painful for two and a half months, but then huge subsidence. That was earlier on this year. And since then, I've just been little by little letting go of smaller remnants and integrating and becoming wholer. Like I saw, I met a lovely, gorgeous Irish person here today. We've been friends on Facebook, okay, for a few years. Um, she said I got a very, very good, strong and whole energy. Like, you know, it's like I don't have much... It's none of this huge amount of blockages, baggage, unresolved or unaware stuff within me. I don't have a huge heaviness or issues or unresolved stuff. I'm very healed and have myself together, a strong, complete, good whole energy, you know. Actually, two people lately said, you know, I'm more healed than them, a bit ahead of them, and you know, on the path. And when people say that, you know, I, I feel an interesting feeling because I don't have much ego, if you know what I mean, like immature ego, let's put it that way. I'm not someone who's very arrogant at all. I have a very childlike and animal energy. And maybe that's why my, name, my second name is Fox. Because if people compliment me, usually I take it as a 
thanks, yeah, I agree with you, or this is true, or else I'll say it's not true if I feel I disagree. I don't have a very heavy self-concept or identity of myself as a physical um, person who's temporary in the world, but I identify strongly as my spiritual true self. So if you say something about me, I'm not going to take it really deeply to heart if it's either a positive or a negative a compliment or a criticism because it just washes over me. I don't really care. I'm a bit like Forrest Gump, like an animal. I tell my beautiful, beautiful sweetheart here, Bella. Bella, you're beautiful. But if I like criticize her and say you're not good looking or you're like the best in the room or something like She's not going to take that to heart. And neither am I. If you tell me I'm like kick ass, I'll say thanks for the love. And I've been working myself for a long time. I accept your compliment. I appreciate it. You see me and recognize my awesomeness, my brilliance. You feel it even energetically. I'll say that's lovely. It's nice to get that confirmation. But it's not something I go around thinking and feeling and believing about myself at all. But everyone, I'm not, di I'm not different than anyone in the sense of our essence. We're all beautiful, gorgeous aspects and essential parts of the machine of the universe we're parts of the source we're a part of the, the, the machine the puzzle we're like necessary we're gorgeous we're divine we're beautiful we're essential we're in a component and we are meant to be and we are deserving and worthy and loving and lovable we're loving and lovable we're loving lovable lovable loving so It's interesting when you get t t feedback from empaths. Like I've made like loads of empaths friends, like five female empaths, high sensory empaths with varying degrees of psychicness the last few months, as well as males. Um, really high caliber quality, gorgeous, fit, like living physical beings who've done so much conscious for healing and work on themselves. I take the best from them. I try and learn and integrate their there are components that I find virtuous. I'm a virtue cultivator. So this year I've really, really, really gone by the seat of my pants. It's been a crazy year. I don't know where I'm going next. I've been booking single tickets. I've had this plan, this plan, being threatened to be kicked out of my house. We make up, become good friends, best friends almost. Well, not best friends, but good friends. I'm said, anytime you want to come back here, Rowan, you're welcome. Anytime, come on back. <laughs> I've been invited on road trips on the very last day. I've left my house, the blink of a hat, getting no deposit back. I've left Canada all of a sudden, beep. The universe is guiding me big time and I'm getting, I'm getting millions of synchronicities. Oh, I don't know what to say. This year has been tough here. Like one, two girls even have like left me, or especially one, but the second was a sense of they weren't ready or something happened. A sense of possible slight tr triggering um, of an old wound to a degree, much less than the first girl, of abandonment and rejection. Uh, but I really had my heart hope set on this. Maybe I was too fast, but I just, I felt everything was like perfect and smooth and lovely with this second girl, which is a brief encounter. But I thought it was, could be the special person for me. She said all the right things, all the sweetest, nicest, most beautiful things to me and seemed to reciprocate and a gorgeous connection. But actually, she's an empath too, and it was all too intense and overwhelming for her. So she had to take a big step back. Um, I didn't feel I did anything bad. I, I know I didn't. I've I tried my heart out, as I always do, to be as sensitive, caring, kind, patient, integral, honorable, loving, attentive, considerate, thoughtful, and patient, I'll say that again, because that's what I felt when I visited her in London, to look after her needs and her, what she needed, space and time. But when the first girl, like, who I just got married and would do a baby with, when she left, that was like, I'd never really been left before by a girl. Like, it's either I've left or we've sort of come to a mutual agreement on a breakup. This is the first year I've been left. So I'm 35 now, and... Uh, it's been a healing year. I've cried a lot. Like this year, I felt the most love, the most joy, the most freedom, the most peace, the most exhilaration, the most excitement, the most adventure, the most surprises, the most gains, the most losses, 
the most tears of my adult. <laughs> the most tears of my adult conscious life starting at 24, 11 years ago. I've had the most freedom and peace and self-love and self-acceptance as well. I have the most fatherliness now. Divine masculine is growing in me. I've become a man this year. I'm still stepping into my role as a man. And I really like love that. <laughs> I've become a father, three months year old baby girl. Neat girly. Baby girl's name means sound of a smile in Japanese. I've cried in public. I've looked at people with big tears in my eye, you know, walking by the street. I've cried some tears like this in a cafe shop. People who've, who I know even. Just by myself, you know, not sitting at the table with them. I've walked around feeling a bit lost for a day. Um, after the last girl sort of fall apart or whatever you want to call it, break up, fall apart. There's a lot of hopes and dreams. When you break up a relationship, it's not just your attachment, and, but it's your hopes and your dreams that are the plans that you have with that person too. And that's what my mum says, and it's true, because you think you have it set, you have something sorted, you have a plan, you, you feel safe and secure having a plan with someone, you know? And when something happens, it's like the, the rug swept from underneath your feet. But it's an opportunity to grow and to look at yourself, to test your mettle and to see where you are on your path, your healing journey and your self relationship with yourself. So I'm not sad ultimately deep down about anything. It's like all perfect. I accept it all. I have no bad feelings towards anybody, you know, in life. Virtually none, little to nothing. All my exes, their exes were over. I know we're over and I have love for them and com compassion and appreciation for the soul contracts. I loved them. I, I blessed them. I said will, goodwill and blessings towards them all. You know, I loved them. I'm not really part of much of their lives anymore, just a little bit. Yeah, let's turn on the uh, airplane mode. Yeah, the reason why I'm making this video is just, just to just to be authentic, everyone, you know. I just want to be honest and vulnerable with you. So you can be accept yourself and love yourself more. Glean or learn something. And you can see, like, you know, a man crying or expressing his emotions if if that's important to you. It's very important to allow ourselves to be truthful to ourselves. Healing is is a uh, crying is healing, everybody. <sighs> yeah, what a crazy year, and it's not even over i can't believe that still october november december can't believe it still three months left <laughs> three and a half months because today i think is september around 25th approximately i've lost track of the day but um this year i've also had a lot of physical healing i'm gaining weight strength and muscle i'm doing I'm doing handstands, cartwheels, push-ups and sit-ups and pretty much every day cycling, maybe even swimming or cycling depending on which country I'm in. I've been in Thailand this year, I've been in Canada. I've been in Thailand, I've been just at the end of last year actually, Canada, Ireland, Canada, <laughs> London, Ireland. <laughs> I'm in Ireland now, back home for a while. And I don't know for how long. It's just it's just all an interesting situation, everybody. An interesting situation and scenario in my life at the moment. I'm trying to juggle like personal sort of responsibility and sort of my role and how practical and capable and with the winter and the snow and the weather and transportation and the relationship with with my uh, the mother, you know, of my of my baby. Our baby. She's a lovely mother. I pay my hat up. She, respect. I love her, you know, as a person. I respect her as a soul contract, 100%. I pray, you know, I pray for her. I pray for my friends. I know, I have such a big heart this year. I feel like divine masculine protector, nurturer. 
divine feminine is just all better this year. It's just crazy. I don't know what to say. I'm just this year has been the best year of my life with the hardest and craziest and wildest and most uncertain and least secure. It's just all based on trust, synchronicity, in pr prayer, faith, guidance from above. And like I was told you today, I got like two strong spirit guides grounding me and helping me and protecting me along my guardian angel. I got a strong support system in the spirit world. And we probably all do, you know. Just keep praying and doing your best to everyone.